Bogart offers an add-on transition effects package called Motion 3D XL Pack 1 and 2. With these effects packages, you can create some amazing and cool effects. For this lesson, I will create a rotating cube effect from the Motion 3D XL Pack 1. You will need a minimum of two video clips to work with. For this demo, I will use six video clips. From the Bogart main menu, select the Edit menu. Select and trim all six video clips to five seconds. Add all six video clips to the storyboard. Go to the Transitions menu. From the Effects list, scroll and select the M3D3 effect and add it between video clips 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Next, set the transition length to 5 seconds. Now, select the Motion Path option and choose path number 9. Next, select the Appearance option and set the Light option to Off. Set the background color to black. Next, select the Edges option and set the quality to highest smooth. In addition, you have the option to archive these settings for future use. Now, go to the Edit menu and select the Render Storyboard icon. Next, go to the Transitions menu and select the Scene icon for video clips 1 and 2 and name the scene Cube 1. Next, choose Effect plus Scenes. Set the Replace in Storyboard option to On and set the Create in Scene Bin option to On as well. Next, select the Scene icon for video clips 3 and 4 and name the scene Cube 2. Lastly, select the Scene icon for video clips 5 and 6 and name the scene Cube 3. Now go to the Edit menu. You will find three newly created scenes named Cube 1, Cube 2, and Cube 3. They are located in both the scene bin and in the storyboard. Play the storyboard from the beginning. You now have a rotating cube of all six scenes. You can add the three cube scenes to the storyboard as many times as you want the effect to continuously play or loop. Motion 3D XL 1 and 2 for Bogart Windows and Linux. Macro System